and welcome to Tech to Tech presented by Kaizen, where we will explore common cleaning questions and answers. Let's get started. I would like to introduce Kaizen's own Eric Bromley. Good afternoon, William, and uh, thank you everyone for joining the, today's edition of our Kaizen Tech to Tech series. Today, we're going to talk about a particular case study in our industrial cleaning applications. This one is relative to cleaning electronic electric transformers prior to being uh, repainted. And we're going to use the Metal Knox 6432. So the opportunity was that this customer, they overhaul the transformers that are on top of the telephone poles that everyone sees. And whenever there's a, um, a tropical storm or um, a natural disaster, or even in some cases, some forest fires, this company actually goes and they recover the transformers from the poles and they bring them back to their facility and they take them all apart and uh, test them and correct any faults, repair them, and then put them all back together. And in doing that, it can be a messy job because these uh, transformers are filled with oils that are used for uh, coolant inside of the transformer itself, and that gets all over the, the outer casing. So they need to clean that outer casing before they can uh, paint them. The final step is painting them. So as I said, the, the, uh, the challenge of cleaning these, these transformers, previously they were using spray bottles with um, rags to wipe down the outer portions before being cleaned, and they weren't able to get all of the areas that they could, and uh, the paint was not adhe adhesing very well. So they, they had inconsistencies with their quality. And they also needed to automate this process, so they needed to speed up the production line and make it more uh, consistent. So this is uh, just a very primitive drawing of what a transformer looks like inside. Uh, of course, there's a lot more to it than this, but the purpose of this picture is just to show you what the oil does, where it actually is pumped around inside of the transformer itself, and then out into the cooling fins where it tra transfers the heat away from the core and uh, keeps the temperature um, at a operable uh, temperature. You may see some of these transformers in the past where they've actually caught on fire and burning. Well, that's not the actual transformer. It's the oil itself that's been exposed. The transformer is overheated and the oil is caught on fire. So that's what uh, that's what you see that's actually burning. So after some testing in our facility and at the at the customer's facility, it was determined that the Metal Knox 6432 was best for this application, not only for its ability to remove the oils and the dirt from the, the outer part of the transformers, but it also operated at a fairly low concentration and temperature. They didn't want to have the temperature too high on this process because they didn't want any latent heat in the transformers when they went into the paint section because it would affect the, uh, the way the paint was uh, adhered to. The concentration of 6% was chosen. It was uh, just the right amount. Uh, we had tried it at a lower concentration and we were not able to get complete cleaning. And we actually tried a little higher concentration and we got good cleaning, but we're afraid of leaving anything on the parts that would uh, cause the, the paint again to adhere or not to adhere. The system is a, a spray and air overhead conveyor system where the transformers are carried through on an overhead gantry. And uh, there's some pictures that we can go through, but it's uh, a three-stage system, wash, rinse, and blow off dry. And the idea is to have one transformer come through the machine every minute. So it's uh, it's one minute in each cycle, three minute total cycle. This is the cleaning system that was used for this test or for this production line. And it's as we're looking at it, it is uh, right to left. The entrance end is on the right hand side. From the yellow exhaust guard on the right, you can see the tank below there with that is the wash tank. That is the uh, wash section. In between those two guards is the rinse section and the tank on the left is the rinse tank. And then from the left yellow exhaust guard to the entrance exit end by the electrical box, that's where the blow off dryer is. This is an entrance end view and an exit end view of the same system. You can see where the where the transformers are hung and uh, carried through from the center on the center line. The uh, they go from section to section um, and go through the wash and rinse and then into the dry. Same picture this time with the sprayers are on the entrance end. You can see there's a small dead space in the entrance, and that's to keep the moisture and the spray inside the machine. They didn't want any of it coming out either end of the system. 
and uh, getting on the floor or wasting it or uh, fouling any of the other operations within the system. And on the exit end on the right, you can see the parts there exiting, uh, the transformer rather is exiting the rinse section, and it's about to enter the dryer in those uh, elongated uh, stainless tubes that you see. Those are to direct the air to specific parts of the transformers to blow dry and make sure that there's uh, no moisture on there for the for the um, for the paint operation. Here's the pictures of before and after. I apologize for the the picture on the right being a little blurry, but it, you can still get a good idea that the difference is, is the same part. So on the left, you can see the oils and the dirt that were left over from the rebuild process and reassembly. And on the right hand side, it is uh, it's got it's been completely removed. A little bit better of a picture. This is an area that was a great concern for them because uh, this is where the, the tension wires actually attached to the transformers. And it was very important that they were they were completely clean and free of dirt and no moisture on here prior to be pre-painted. Because uh, obviously this is where the connections are, so it was very critical. This picture shows the transformers, the first three on the right have just come out of the paint booth and they are all ready and done. The ones on the far left, there's three or four of them there, those are actually on the conveyor system slated to go into the machine. There's an overhead gantry that's consist, uh, continuous around, goes through the wash, through the, the paint booth, and then through a dryer. So uh, this is actually the unload and load position. They're just not doing it right now, but that's what the transformers look like when they're all done. All, uh, all excuse me, all nice and clean. This is just a picture that represents uh, what a typical day of uh, production would be. They also rebuild and uh, repaint the larger transformers that you see in the background. They just don't do that with an automated system. They still do that manually because of the size and configuration of the parts. But um, the conclusion is now that they're they're able to completely clean a transformer every three minutes, which is what they wanted to do. And the overhead conveyor system now automatically carries these transformers directly into the robotic paint booth where they can uh, put the the rebuilt transformers on the entrance end and they don't touch them again until they come out of the, the spray, booth, spray booth and they're all painted and clean. There is uh, additional information available on the Metal Knox M6432 on our website. So I recommend you uh, go to our website and just search for that number product and all the information you need will be there. Some of the frequently asked questions on this particular process on this topic, uh, once the 6432 removes all the soils, how are the how are they removed from the wash bath? Well, in this machine and in most other industrial cleaning machines, there's an oil separation tank where the uh, the oils um, will be separated through like a quiet process where the the wash bath just slows down and, and is allowed to settle, and the oils will split and come to the surface. The Metal Knox 6432, like many of our other Metal Knox products have a real good ability to split the oils and pop it to the surface. So it makes the oil separation systems work really well. As far as any of the solids, those are typically removed through filtration, cartridge type filtration of bag filters. And those again are all very standard and typical on most industrial cleaning machines. Second question is, uh, because it, this is a spray and air process, does the Metal Knox 6432 have any foaming issues? Uh, no, it does not. The uh, 6432 is specifically designed for spray and air. And uh, as we built this material, we included a deformer that's built into the chemistry to prevent any foaming. There is some activity foam that is natural, but once the tank stops, the, the foam will dissipate quickly to almost nothing. And finally, uh, how is the Metal Knox 6432 concentration measured and controlled? Well, it's typically we recommend that the metal knocks be uh, measured with a conductivity meter. And it's a very simple system, uh, handheld unit. There are some that can be built into the machines as well. And they measure the conductivity of the, the chemistry itself. We had found that refractometers and titrations can sometimes be fooled by different oils and coolants, but they're not as much affected through conductivity. And as far as controlled, um, there is um, there's a chart that we have for the 6432 as well as all the other uh, metal knocks chemistries where you can do a manual ads or there are electronic dosing systems that can be used to tie into the water when the wash calls for water. It'll add some chemistry at the same time or you can use a 
conductivity meter that can control a dosing pump as well. We can offer assistance on uh, making recommendations for some of these systems and as well as any other questions you may have. So that concludes my tech to tech series today. Uh, I thank you again for your time and I'll turn it back over to William. Thank you, Eric. And thank you all for watching this tech session. If you'd like to discuss this topic further or have any questions not answered in the session, please contact your local Kaizen regional manager or send an email to tech, the number two, tech at kaizen.com, and we will have someone follow up with you as soon as possible. To download the case study this session was based on, click the link in the description. Do you want to have exclusive access to future content set di directly to your inbox, or do you know someone who would benefit from these sessions? If the answer is yes, just go to techdetectbykaizen.com and fill out the subscription form. And if you like this video, be sure to follow us on our social media platforms for more expert cleaning content.